And so how did I get interested in climate change? Uh, well, I kind of think most things are a combination of, kind of luck, timing, and personal experience. So, um, the personal experience was kind of growing up as a kid. Um, a lot of my uh, dad's relatives from Iraq came out as refugees. And that kind of taught me that you know, like life for family units, for cities, for nations, is often driven by stuff that's pretty much out of your control. You might have like a mild hand on the rudder, but you're not really fully steering the ship. Um, kind of the, the luck here is, uh, high school I had a great teacher called uh, Miss Chubb who introduced geography to me in a way that made me understand for the first time that, yeah, one of the biggest impacts that's gonna affect kind of all levels, families, two nations, is gonna be climate change and its impacts. Um, and kind of studying climate models at university, uh, where I studied geography in England, um, it became very clear that the pressing issue that will affect my family, the UK, the world, over my lifetime and beyond, will be climate change, uh, which led me to want to pursue a field within, a career within that field. Um, I'm not a scientist, uh, don't claim to be and have huge respect for uh, the work that goes into uh, the science that really kind of shapes our policy and social responses to, to issues today. Um, but I did want to build a career bringing innovative financial or technology solutions to the marketplace. Um, and so I started out at the World Bank doing renewable energy and energy efficiency financing. Uh, moved to, back to London where I was involved in the world's largest private sector carbon fund. Um, creating carbon assets and trying to put a price signal onto the externality of a lot of industrial society. And then I uh, came to California where I've been involved in venture capital and grant making to innovative technologies. And more recently for the last year I've been at um, Planet Labs. Um, that's the, the premise of which very much captured my attention. And so Planet Labs is mapping the surface of the world uh, in near real time and, and it helps us understand deforestation and other things. And I want to talk with Jane Lubchenco about how, mm -hmm. yeah, how that connects with the government and other things. So we are building the world's largest constellation of satellites. Um, we're not building a typical constellation which involves very large, um, very, very costly, hundreds of millions of dollars per single satellite system. Uh, we are deploying what we call microsatellites. Um, and this probably won't work on radio, but just for the benefit of the people in the room today, there's a very diligent photographer right in front of me called Ed uh, that has a very nice, I think, digital SLR camera with a 29 megapixel CCD. Um, Ed, if you wouldn't mind just showing the audience the, the kind of piece of equipment you are using. <laughs> so, so kind of that is pretty much the size of one of our satellites. Right?